Studio 6 Welcome to Think, Design, Provoke, the podcast. An intimate space where every week you receive inspiration about the fascinating world of interior design and all the benefits and effects in your lifestyle. My name is Francesca, and we will create meaningful conversations to unveil the enigmatic perception of interior design as a discipline that simply focuses on aesthetics. We will expose everything from interiors to its relationship to architecture, surroundings, history, and culture. We will challenge the misconception of interior spaces confined in architectural boundaries. We will understand that interior spaces provide the setting for human activity and are created to fulfill human desires and needs where sensory pleasures and engagement are celebrated. That is the built environment, the connection between individuals, physical spaces, experience, emotions, and its social consequences. I am your host, and I invite you to join the design conversations that will elevate your consciousness about interiors. Consciousness that will embrace the beautiful possibilities of manifesting all your senses in your space. Hello, hello. Welcome to episode 7 of Think, Design, Provoke, the podcast. Happy 2024. This is our first Friday and the first episode of this new year. And I am blessed to be here connecting with you, creating these meaningful design conversations. This podcast is presented by Studio Chess Interior Architecture Design Studio. In this seventh episode, we are going to converse about the powerful connection between space, body, mind, and its social consequences. Spatial experiences can be physical, sensorial, and mental. The term experience itself emphasizes the body as a medium for interacting with objects and spaces, generating emotional reactions. Interior spaces indeed have the power to impact our emotions and mental health significantly. The contribution to our emotions and perceptions are directly influenced by the spaces we inhabit. The holistic approach of space, body, and mind creates the route for interiors that are functional, practical, and emotionally uplifting. Environments where individuals can truly thrive. There are successful strategies and design features that you want to be exposed to that enhance the spatial experiences that contribute to your well-being. Indoor air quality. Natural ventilation means pulling fresh air into an interior space from the outside. This aids in reducing indoor air pollutants, including VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds, allergens, and mold. Cross ventilation helps in improving the thermal control of an interior by maintaining the minimum air quality, reducing heat, and allowing natural airflow. Understanding and controlling common pollutants indoors can help reduce your risk or indoor health concerns. Natural daylight insertion. Studies show sunshine boosts serotonin, which is a chemical that carries messages between nerve cells in the brain and throughout your body. While similar to dopamine, it creates a long-lasting feeling of happiness or well-being. Both chemicals act as hormones that help coordinate different functions and processes in our bodies like growth, metabolism, emotions, and even sleep. Natural views. Reduce feeling of stress or anger, increase memory and attention, improve your mood, improve your physical health, and help you be more active. Ergonomic furnishings. Provide optimal support to keep your body in an ideal posture to reduce strain on your neck, back, and hips, helping you stay productive throughout the day. Living walls. Help to purify the air, reduce the ambient temperature, serve as a natural acoustic filter while reducing noise levels in a busy or high traffic spaces. Green roof gardens. 
Like living walls, the environmental benefits of plants in our spaces are extraordinary for our physical well-being and mental health. Cleaner air means less headaches and connection with our outdoor environments. Both are an expression of botanic art or biophilic design. Nature restores mental functioning in the same way that food and water restore our bodies. And yes, they are pleasing and beautiful for the eyes. Materiality. A thoughtful selection of soft and organic textures like cotton and wool generally feel comforting and spark positive memory associations. Smell. This is definitely one of my favorites. The sense of smell is closely tied to memory and emotions. Different scents can create different moods from stimulating and uplifting to calm and relaxing. The sense of smell enriches your experience of the world around you. It can also transport you back to a distant memory and may help you bond with loved ones. Think about it. When you smell a perfume that you haven't used in a long time, all of a sudden you smell it again and it immediately transports you to your university years when you use that perfume in your college days. You remember your dorm, your roommates, your favorite eating place. In general, it reminds you of all the good old college days. This is just to give you an example. Sound. This is as important as the visuals. Acoustics can greatly influence the overall quality of a space. There are both intentional, ways to add pleasant sound and ways to dampen unintentional sounds. The sound emitted, absorbed, and reflected within a space plays an important role in the overall experience. Music is an especially powerful aspect to sound within a space that can either make it or break it. You have experienced this, I'm sure, at different restaurants or retail stores, at the gym, or at a relaxing meditative yoga class. These are just a few aspects that improve the quality of spatial and emotional experience effectively. Our body and the interaction with the space, the exchange of natural and artificial light, the materiality emphasis, and the mental connection allows us to create awareness of the sensorial aspects of the environment and improve the quality of the emotional experience. An interior experience that emphasizes the body and environmental stimuli represents an immersive experience which connects the mind. The body means physical movements and senses interacting with the physical space. The connection between the body and the environmental stimuli are pivotal elements to generate the emotional experience that improves the quality of the interior and the outdoor space. Peter Sumthor is a minimalist Swiss architect. He is of the point of view that materiality and physicality of a space keep the users confined to a worldly experience, while senses fill them with long-lasting impacts and enable them to measure the spaces through their intangibility. One of his notable projects is the Therm Vals in Switzerland, best known as 7132 Hotel and House of Architects. This hotel and spa provides an immersive sensorial experience that leads the behavior of the user in the space. People can touch and feel the water and stones, see and feel the light and darkness while relaxing in the shadows, hear the sound of the flowing mineralized water, and smell the mist of it. This is an authentic mountain village far away from the hustle and bustle surrounded by ancient nature. The combination of light and shade, open and enclosed spaces, and linear elements make for a highly sensuous and restorative experience. This space was designed for visitors to luxuriate and rediscover the ancient benefits of bathing. My goodness, what a pure concept. Working with the natural surroundings, the bathrooms lay below a grass roof structure half buried into the hillside. 
the hotel is built from layer upon layer of locally quarried valser quartzite slabs. This stone became the driving inspiration for the design throughout the space and is used with great dignity and respect. The Thurm Balls is indeed an exquisite space and phenomenal precedent. However, we don't need to go as far as Switzerland to enjoy or comprehend the importance of space, body, mind, and experience. Just visualize yourself in a quaint, small home in the mountains, with a body of water next to it, surrounded by lush nature. Here in Idaho, we have a ton of those environments. I am sure that from any part of the world you are listening from, you can experience this type of scenario. Just think about what type of environment makes you feel peaceful and happy. Visualize your favorite scent and what memories come to your mind. Think about good health, prosperity, and what makes you thrive. It could be in the mountains, at the beach, in the city, on the lake, or surrounded by snow. Simply visualize yourself in an environment that gives you satisfaction, safety, and the feeling of being content. Experience that indoor-outdoor spatial relationship and understand how you feel. I remember the first time I visited Falling Water in Milrom, Pennsylvania. This is a house designed by American architect Frank Lloyd Wright back in 1935, and it stands as one of his greatest masterpieces of modern architecture. Its dynamism and its integration with its striking natural surroundings symbolize the harmony between people and nature. The thoughtful design seamlessly integrated with its natural setting, the building, its furnishings, and the surroundings become cohesive parts of one unified interrelated composition. It is built cantilevered over an active waterfall that flows beneath the house. This is a representation of organic architecture with a lot of spatial sensibility. My experience was truly magical. There are so many stunning photos out there, but there's nothing that compares to be immersed in this property physically. Personally, I live fascinated, almost obsessed with the relationship of buildings and its surroundings. So you can imagine, I was mesmerized. This visit was around 15 years ago, and I vividly, vividly remember the beautiful grounds leading me to the property, the patios, the sound of the waterfall, the stone floor in the living room, and my absolute favorite spot the staircase leading to the waterfall from the living room. Even though that area was restricted to go all the way to the water, I was so connected to my spatial experience that I feel that I almost touched the water. <laughs> and I'm not making this up. I was so in the moment, observing all the design decisions he made with so much precision and sentiment that it was almost surreal. As a designer, after visiting this masterpiece, I felt creatively refreshed and recharged once I completed my tour. It was simply outstanding. Spaces that nourish the mind and body have become increasingly important in today's fast-paced and stressful world. Spaces that support flexibility and adaptability multifunctional areas that allow you to engage in various activities and cater to your changing needs, spaces that reflect your individuality, preferences that elevate your sense of belonging and ownership while fostering your connection to the surroundings. Spaces can celebrate your identity, creating the familiarity and comfort to awaken positive emotions. That is what we're talking about. Space, body and mind are the result of well-thought design solutions to create a remarkable experience. When we realize that physical and mental well-being are the basis of health and happiness, 
it is not difficult to understand the powerful connection between space, body, mind, and its social consequences. If you feel identified and connected with this podcast, please join the Design Conversations and invite your friends and family to be part of our community. I will be here every Friday to chat with you about interesting topics within the fascinating interior design world. I'll chat with you next Friday when we will continue conversing about the relationship between design and the senses. If there is a specific topic that you want me to discuss, or if you have any questions, please feel free to DM me through Instagram or Facebook. Also, you can send me an email at thinkdesignprovoke at gmail.com. Please follow me on my social media platforms at Studio Chess to continue the design conversation. In the episode notes, I am including the contact links for your reference. Also, the Thurnvalls Hotel and Falling Water links so you can enjoy it. If you find value in this content, please share this episode in your social media or chats. And remember to leave me a review on Apple Podcasts or your favorite audio platform. Thank you for your attention and for being on the other side. It is my absolute pleasure to be here with you. I'll chat with you next Friday. And remember, everything in the built environment is by design and you are part of it. Let's do it, 2024. Ciao, ciao.